morning, everybody. Welcome to Scuba. Is everybody ready for a fun day? Let's start by standing and singing our theme song for the week. Good job, everybody. You know, scuba diving is a little bit different than swimming. How many of you have gone swimming before? Anybody gone swimming? Oh, right. How many of you have gone scuba diving before? Anybody scuba diving? You see, when you go swimming, you kind of stay on the top of the water and you hold your breath when you want to go under the water. But when you're scuba diving, you need a lot of extra stuff. In fact, you need something like this. Does anybody know what is inside of this? Yeah, oxygen, air, there's, there's, this is what you breathe. And so this weighs more than some of you, all right? And it's full of, of air, oxygen that you can breathe when you're underwater for a long period of time. But if you don't just wear that. You actually, you have to wear a whole big thing that holds that puts that together, straps on, and so actually, that's a lot of stuff, right? And you have a lot of equipment to go scuba diving and to do that right. And you know what's really interesting is when scuba divers are under the water, do you think they can talk to each other? Have you ever tried talking underwater? It doesn't work that well. They have to use hand signs so I don't know how many of you can communicate with your hands. Maybe you have motions that you do with your hands. Like if I did this, what do you think? Yeah, something's really good. Or if I went... What if I was like... Yeah, t what? maybe hurry up, speed it up. My dad's a pastor. Sometimes during his sermon, I was going... Dad, I think you're talking too long. And now I'm, I'm a grown-up and now I talk too long. You know, are there any other hand signs that you use sometimes? Yeah, peace, right? That's a good one. Yep, sometimes you can just wave or you can give high fives or you can just give a number if you're counting. Here's another really cool one. Scuba divers use this to let others know that they're okay. Can everybody do that? I'm okay. Everything is good, right? I've got enough oxygen. Everything's working right. And so that's something that we do when we talk about all of the cool things, the communication that can happen, that we're taking care of each other, that we're showing love to each other, and we're learning about God's love for us today. What an awesome thing to know and to learn as we celebrate here at Scuba and all of the wonderful things that we get to do together. And so let's stand up and sing our next song, which kind of talks a little bit about that, about all the blessings that we have together. Let's count our blessings. One, two, three.
everyone. So today we're going to learn that God is a friend who loves. Thanks, God. All right, let's try that one again. So now that you know, we are going to learn today that God is a friend who loves. Now, I was thinking of another hand sign that you could do, but sometimes it's better if you do it with somebody else. Um, here, can you come and help me? You're like, what, what am I doing? All right, do that. All right, what do we got? Sometimes it's a good reminder that love is supposed to be shared with our friends. Can you make a heart with the person next to you? Maybe make it with a few different people. Make it with the kids in your crew. It's a great reminder that God's love is to be shared with other people. And we're reminded today that God's love is forever. And we have a song about that today called Forever God Forever Love. Let's sing that. job everyone as we learn our bible point each day we have a bible buddy and i want to let our bible buddy introduce themselves to you let's watch our bible buddy video hi there my name is But you can just call me Finley. I'm a dolphin. Dolphins are known for being happy and friendly. And that's because there's so much we love. For one thing, I love my friends. Dolphins usually travel in groups. And we make friendships that can last a really long time. Like years and years. We hunt together, raise families together, and keep each other safe. Sometimes we even work together to make mud rinks that trap fish. Then we wait outside the rings for fish to try to escape. Yum! I love fishy food! Other times, some of my friends herd fish into a smaller area while the rest of us swim around and gobble them up. I also love to play. 
My friends and I like to surf on waves near the shore or way out where boats and whales make waves. We even love playing with bubbles. Sometimes we blow bubble rings. Then we spin the bubbles or pop them by biting them. Do you like to pop bubbles? And of course, we talk a lot. God made us with this cool whistle. And we each have our own whistle. When we make that sound, other dolphin friends know who we are. It's kind of like saying your name. We can use our whistles, squeaks, and clicks to echolocate. That means we listen to where the sound bounces. God gave us that awesome way to find fabulous fishy food. Yum! I love my mom, too. Dolphin moms are so loving. Baby dolphins are called calves. Aw, wasn't I cute back then? Dolphin calves swim in the baby position. That means we swim right up next to our moms. I always felt safe by my mom's side. I love people too. Sometimes my friends and I hunt right by fishing boats. We love the way you help us round up all that fish. Just be careful with those nets. And humans love us too. Even though we're not endangered or threatened, people have made laws to keep us safe. There are even groups of humans that study us and work to protect and rescue us. Yep, there's a lot to love about being a dolphin. Hey, I hear you humans love a lot of stuff too. You might love food or sports, but what you love most of all is other people. I see you showing your love to your friends here at VBS. And I know you love your families and other people close to you too. There's someone who loves you more than you could ever imagine. God! So when you see us dolphins and think about how much we love our friends, just remember, God is a friend who loves. Finley is going to be an awesome example for us today as we remember about God's love for us and how God is a friend who loves. Thanks, God. Hey, Cindy, you're back. Um, and you look like you might be ready for some diving? You mm, bet, Jeremy. Maybe. Okay. All right. You bet, Jeremy. Yep. You, you look tired. You good? Yeah, yeah, I'm not too bad. Listen, all I'm going to need is a crew and a boat and some way to read my map with these goggles on. I can't see anything in these things. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's not going to be very helpful. But I do have my flippers. Okay, that's good. <laughs> and I even have a scuba tank. Um, that's not a scuba tank. That's a water bottle, Sydney. Oh, I was wondering why it had a sippy end. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> well, it's going to have to do. That treasure is waiting. <laughs> okay, but, you know, you can't just jump into the ocean and expect to just start scuba diving. I mean, there's training that you need to do and practice and... Uh, otherwise, you'll get, you're going to get hurt. Aw, Jeremy, you do love me. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I mean, that's what friends do. Um, you know, and they watch out for each other, too. Kind of like what we're just learning about right now, about God loving us. We know that God is a friend who loves. <laughs> wow. That does make God a good friend. Someone who loves. But... Jeremy, you don't got to worry about me. I mean, I've been practicing some of my swimming moves. Okay. You want to see? Um, do we have a choice? Yeah, of course. Here, hold this. All right, so I've been practicing my doggy paddle. Uh-huh. Everybody do the doggy paddle. Show me your doggy paddle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. You're mm -hmm. just as good as Sydney is scuba diving. And, and I've been doing my cat paddle. Meow. Cat paddle? Meow. I didn't know yeah. that cat paddle and, was a thing. And, okay. and wait, you're going to love this last one. This is my best one. All right. The chicken paddle. <laughs> Sydney, you know, as your friend, a friend who loves you, I I'm just telling you that I think that this whole diving for treasure thing um, just needs to go away. You're going to get hurt. And in fact, I'm going to keep your scuba tank for now. <laughs> Joke's on you. I don't even need a scuba tank. There are divers that go and hunt for pearls that can hold their breath for up to seven minutes. And I've been practicing. Are you telling me you can hold your breath for like seven minutes? Uh, just time me, just time me. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. How long was that? Eleven seconds. Eleven minutes? Seconds. Oh. Uh huh. Yeah. I could have sworn it was eleven minutes. No, nope, pretty sure. Pretty sure. Eleven seconds. Yeah. Well, you know, I understand that you love me. Yes. But don't worry about it so much. Listen, I'm still gonna go after the treasure of Lost Pirates Cove. Okay. And there's nothing that you could do to stop me. Okay. Well, I I don't know that it's a good idea, but you've heard my you've heard my plea, so that's all I can do. Well, you've got a point. I might need to take a little breather after all that breath holding. Breath holding for eleven <laughs> seconds. Kind of that, wore me out a that's little. That's kind of a good idea, Sydney. And while you're practicing or recovering from the breath holding, maybe we could stand and sing our song about a friend who loves us. Let's sing, I have a friend. I have a friend. Do we have that one ready? There we go. for being here for our opening. I hope that you have a great day at Scuba. Boys and girls in the purple, you can head out the doors. In green, you can follow. Blue, just have a seat. Red, you can head out the back. And orange, you can follow red. <laughs>